Good day to all out there in internet land. I'm going to do another Yerba Mate related video today. My name is Frank, which you may or may not know already. Today's video is going to be focused on Yerba Mate and the health benefits, particularly weight loss and waste weight management. I haven't made my gourd yet for today. I'm going to be making some Circle of Drink Mission Yerba Mate. My uh, bag here is almost empty, but I have another bag, another pound, waiting for me to bust open. So I'm gonna just about finish off this bag and make my gourd here on camera. I've done it before on camera, but I'll do it again just because I like to do it on camera. It's good practice. In case you hadn't seen my other video, how to make mate or how to prepare mate, you can kind of see what's going on this time around. It's a lot quicker demonstration this time. All right, that's about right. Making a mess here, getting some leaves all over the place. Eh, no big deal. It's all good. All right, got my wooden gourd here, my favorite gourd so, so far. Um, um, cup, cup the opening with my hand, shake it up a little bit, upside down. Get all those big pieces of palos, twigs, to one side. There we go. Another shot there. What it looks like. Uh, getting it all over my keyboard. Dang nabbit. Alright. Fix this up. I messed it up. Ah, uh, start over. This time I won't show you so I won't mess up my mountain. There we go. Okay. Got my dummy water. Pour that in. Dummy water is a term that uh, Dave Monte over at Circle of Drink came up with to describe the cool water, or cold water you pour into the gourd first to kind of wet the mate. I guess he calls it dummy water because it's not really meant to be drank, just to kind of wet the mate. I'll let that soak in. As I already mentioned, the video is going to be discussing the uh, weight loss, weight management aspects, uh, potential for yerba mate. I have some experience in this area because I've lost nearly 50 pounds so far since I've started drinking mate. I don't attribute I don't attribute all that weight loss to uh, the yerba mate itself, obviously. I uh, haven't been on a yerba mate fast or anything like that, but uh, it does help lose weight in several different ways uh, from my experience. Now, 50 pounds sounds like a lot to some people and to other people, if they're really heavy, probably doesn't sound like that much. Well, I was around 220 pounds and uh, now I'm almost down to 170 pounds. I'm still considered overweight for my height, but not by much. So I'm down to a healthy weight. I've actually started jogging once or twice a week recently. This morning, in fact, I jogged for about two miles. So good for me. That's the farthest I've ever jogged in my life, to be honest. Uh, but also, to be honest, I jogged for about a mile, took a break, did a bit of walking, then jogged for another mile, and then the rest of the way home I just kind of walked to kind of wind down. Um, well, there we go. So anyway, back on track onto uh, the yerba mate weight loss benefits. As you know, or probably know if you're watching this video, yerba mate has caffeine, theobromine, theophylline, 
tons of antioxidants, minerals, vitamins. It's a very healthy drink. And some people drink copious amounts of this stuff daily. And by copious amounts, in my opinion, that's a liter and a half plus. Uh, some people would say a liter and a half is nothing, but to me that's a lot. And that's probably because I'm slightly caffeine intolerant personally. If I drink too much mate, I'm just wired. Um, now a lot of people say that mate doesn't give you jittery energy like coffee does, but it depends on the person to be honest. Um, if you're caffeine, caffeine intolerant, mate might make you just as jittery as coffee or maybe not quite as much because it has theobromine and other chemicals in it to make you relaxed. And so, yeah, coffee, one cup of coffee would make me just completely jittery, like, it wouldn't make me feel good at all. But mate, depends on the day, you know, if I haven't had mate for a day or two and I drink a liter of mate, it might make me a little jittery because it's a fair amount of mate to drink after having not had mate for a while. Mm. That's good stuff. Um, so anyway, going back to the health effects, the theobromine and the antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, and just the mate itself really, so healthy for you. If you've drank any more than half a liter of mate before, you're well aware that it'll usually make you go to the bathroom. It cleans you out quite literally. It's it almost has a laxative effect, if you want to put it in that, into those terms. Helps clean you out. If you don't eat a lot of uh, roughage every day, and you have trouble going to the bathroom, problems with constipation, drink some mate, it'll clean you out. Um, almost guaranteed. Make you go, uh, number one, make you urinate more. So you want to make sure to drink plenty of water also, unless you're one of those copious mate drinkers that drink, I don't know, a liter and a half, two, three liters plus a day, then maybe you don't need quite as much water because you're just used to the amount of mate that you're drinking. But, of course, mate cleans you out, so a lot of people that are heavy, part of the reason they're heavy is because they have all these toxins and uh, quite frankly feces built up in their body and some of that weight is just feces that's kind of making its way slowly through your digestive system and just kind of backed up <coughs> sorry I got a little bit of leaves come through my throat there um, so that's one way in, how, in which it helps you to lose weight is by keeping you regular another way is that it suppresses your appetite um, when you drink mate, those that theobromine, the antioxidants, the vitamins and minerals, they're a lot of what you need on a daily basis to be healthy. So as you drink more and more mate, your body itself decides on its own that it doesn't need as much food as it used to. You don't crave food as much as you used to. Especially the bad foods, the salty foods, the fatty foods, the junk foods, fast food, chips, salty chips, oily chips, all the stuff that's really doesn't have that much nutritional value. And I've found over time with it, with me at least is that I start craving, if you want to put it that way, I start craving more of the healthy foods. Uh, good fruits and vegetables, um, nuts, raw nuts, um, you know, less meat. Um, dairy for me is a terrible thing. I react badly to dairy and a lot of people are perfectly fine with it and that's, that's them. But uh, your body becomes more attuned to what's good for it and what's bad for it, whatever that may be. 
And so when you eat something that's bad for you, um, you know, say a greasy hamburger from fast food joint, french fries, your body reacts to that and you just, your body already reacts to it, but you start to realize both mentally and physically that that stuff does not sit well with your body. It's bad for you. And slowly over time, you start to consciously and unconsciously reduce your intake of those bad foods and you start eating more healthy. At least that's my experience. And then finally, of course, Yerba Mate gives you energy. So if you're a couch potato or you work a desk job like I do, at least for the time being, uh, it'll give you energy. It'll make you want to do things. You'll get restless, but not in a jittery way. It'll, you'll just start to become more aware that you're idle, you're a sedentary being. You're not getting the exercise that all human bodies need. And so this energy starts to kick in spiritually and physically and you just want to do things. Whatever that may be, you may st be going for a walk once or twice a week, a few times a week. Uh, that's how I started out. Started going for walks. And now I'm jogging once or twice a week. Started out jogging, you know, a quarter of a mile, half a mile, a mile, mile and a half. Now I'm up to two miles. And that was actually pretty quick pro progression for me. I think I jogged a quarter of a mile about a month and a half ago. And I got tired after a quarter quarter of a mile. Couldn't jog anymore. Finished up with a walk. And over a month and a half or so, I've built up to two miles in total, like this morning. So that's kind of a long-winded version of the various health benefits of yerba mate, yerba mate, in terms of weight loss and weight management. You continue to drink mate, and it'll help you continue to suppress your appetite, give you energy, and keep you eating healthy. Beyond, of course, also lifting your spirits, making you feel good, um, all of those things that Yerba Mate does. So, if you're looking for an extremely healthy drink that will also help you lose weight or maintain your weight, this is a good possibility for you. Especially if you don't have a problem with caffeine. If you do have a problem with caffeine, take it easy. Get yourself a small gourd. We'll only put maybe, I don't know, what is it? A quarter of an ounce. I don't know how much that actually is. Just a little bit of mate in your cup or mug or gourd, whatever. And drink a little bit at a time. Work your, work your way up. Start off with maybe half a liter of mate a day. And then maybe you could work up to a liter, maybe more than that. I limit myself to at most a liter of mate a day. That's my personal choice. That's what works for me. A lot of people will drink a lot more mate than that a day. And that's fine. That works for them. More power to you. So, if you have any questions about this video, its content, or types of cherba mate. This mission mate from Circle of Drinks really good. I have a relative, cousin of mine, that started drinking it just this morning actually, and she really digs it. She's new to mate. She's only tried three different kinds so far. And she's only been drinking it for I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a month. She started out with an infuser or tea bag, reusable tea bag. And uh now she has a gourd and bombisha and the whole gear and she's really digging it. So this mission mate, it's good stuff. If you have any other questions, recommendations, uh, what have you, uh, like me to make a t particular kind of video, let me know and I'll do what I can. Have a good one. Enjoy your week, weekend, whatever the case may be. Keep on spreading the love. 
with or without Monty. Laters.